it's Claire from AfterDark.ie TV. Tonight we are in the right venue for the launch of Kofoda Bass and Drums and I'm going to have a quick chat with the lads to find out what it's all about. Hey Vanna, explain to me exactly how Capone Bass and Drums actually came to be in a minute. Um, Capone Bass and Drums happened, I suppose, uh, myself and Phil, uh, one drunk at night, no doubt, the best of these who come up when you're drunk. Uh, um, I've been DJing we've been on it for the course of 12 years now, and done all the venues around Ireland, the UK, Spain, everywhere, and you know, took the big gigs, Spirit, and all that kind of stuff. And there was always one thing I, I, I always wanted to do was work with, you know, Vando, drums, sax player, violinists, I wanted to do all that. And, I uh, got to know Phil quite well over the past couple of years and uh, just, just, we just came up with this idea and we started uh, kind of messing about the Grand Lounge and from there just kind of taking out uh, ground legs and then Chevin came in on board and we've kind of just grown from there. And it wouldn't be like you to normally share your stage so to speak, so what's it going to be like having two people kind of forefront standing in front of you in the DJ box, well, kind of stealing the thunder? The fact that they're actually right in front of me as well kind of hides me, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's hard enough to hide me as well, but they're actually right in front of me. But then, oh, look, look, Phil, uh, Phil's an absolutely great DJ. Probably, uh, you know, well, uh, I'll have to, have to let him on as much as I, <laughs> as much as I possibly can. Obviously, now, after your summer with AfterDark.ie, you've got a bit of international game, so to speak, with uh, different companies looking for you. But, Phil, you've got a fair bit of kind of experience in what you're doing as part of Kofoda Bass and Drums as well. Tell yeah, us about I mean, that. Yeah, I've been teaching for ages myself. Like, I, I've been there uh, for three years, and I, I was actually the uh, writing DJ for the right venue of DJ. And I started messing around with the drums actually two years ago, only two years ago. And I did it well, so then I started, started getting money for it, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. But for the moment, it's what it was. Do you still have to hold the big thing? And you've got a good old partner in crime from the exact same country, yeah. but you guys met in Temple Bar? Yeah, we met in Temple Bar. I was fitting, just messing around in Temple Bar like, every night, so I don't know how to do I go in the door, that's my name sometimes. And yeah, I got feel, and then he said to me, I was going to do this thing. So I did, it was good, it was time, so I went down, and now I think we get a lot of sense in the corner. And do you think we're going to manage to work your name into a couple of bass drums? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously the right venue is such a large venue and you know packed out every weekend after weekend that kind of thing as well. It's a different crowd, different side of town, that kind of stuff as well compared to the usual grafton line. Are you looking forward to playing to a different crowd, people get to know kind of a different scene and that kind of thing as well or well, the, 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 the beauty about the Fall Ways drums is it carries up it, it it suits small venues like the Grafton Lounge, but like with Bent with Venues like the White Venue tonight, it, it's, it, it's a club experience, you know, it's a much bigger thing, there's a big PA, it's going to sound that much better, the craft and it, it, it works well in there, it's not a full show, it's not a full photo based drum show, this is the full show, and uh, there's other elements to it which we add into it, be photo based drums and friends, the, and friends part of it, you know, we're going to have saxophone people joining us, well, it is, yeah. vocalists, electric violinists, we're going to have it all, like, a couple of clubs, we're going to book us straight away, this is obviously our launch night for Really, really happy that we're launching this sort of thing venue with the venue. We also want to thank the venue for booking us and taking it, taking a big leap of faith because they know it's helping Phil from DJ, you know. But this, you, you're putting this kind of thing together that like we've been rehearsing for a long time, crashing the grass around and hours in my house and neighbours love this girl, <laughs> especially last night. But, um, you know, like, it, it's, it's, such a, it's, such a, it's such a big thing to get right. We, we've been working on it for a long time. I think it's something that Dublin's missing, uh, not Dublin, sorry, Ireland, and possibly, you know, further afield as well. It's unique. It's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. It's going to work really well with them. Um, we just heard your sound check, and there's definitely kind of a Spain vibe, the sort of European city festivals, you know, carnival feel to it as well. Is there something else you're going to work on? Are you going to take a flight with it? I think we might take it out with Spain. We, as, you know, as, as you know, we've been booked to it in Spain for the Irish Bank holidays in the summer there. So, you know, it's something that, uh, something that we definitely would like to do, and I think it's something that, it, it, there's a lot of this kind of stuff done down there, but maybe not 
not as in, not as um, not as kind of well gelled and groomed like we're going to be by that stage. You know, it, it's we've got signature tracks we're playing tonight. And the guys are doing doing certain things along with certain times of music. And timing timing is key with this. And it's, it's something that we definitely would like to take further field. You know, away from Ireland, but we want to get our foot in Ireland first. And we, as I say, there's a couple of things up and booking it on a full time basis as well. That's going to be great. So last year we had After Dark Dye's very first Pink and Black affair that saw many hearts broken with the Cola Boys <laughs> and Mr. Louis Williams shaving their heads for charity. Now completely worthwhile cause. And that's happened again this year with the with the Cola Boys drums. Yeah, the Cola Boys drums were we're doing it uh, in the uh, doing it in a uh, venue speaking firm. Um, but uh, yeah, that's no, going to be really definitely, definitely interesting. Four weeks away, we can talk to two venues a month, the venue we did last year, and Lily's was a great night. Um, it, was, uh, it was fantastic, apart from me having to shave my head off. I was like, the head over here. need to shave your head again now, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's definitely, look, it's an event that we're, that we're that myself and uh, Paolo uh, love doing. Uh, it's, a, it's a charity club, it's everyone's heart. I mean, we all know someone who's a child of cancer, I and mean, you know, it's, it's definitely something that we like to raise funds for. It's, it's something that we want, to, we want to put a good show on for as well, for everyone's going to come to the night and, um, you know, we're trying to make it bigger and better than last year.